Hello photographers. White balance is a great tool for making sure the colors in your photos are perfect, but more often than not, the preset white balance options on your camera don't do a very good job. So I wanted to share a super simple way to make sure that your photos always have perfect colors no matter what kind of light you're shooting in. Now if you don't know what white balance is, or what it does, let me quickly explain. Light is a wave, and waves can move at different speeds or wavelengths, and human eyeballs can only detect a specific range of those wavelengths. This range is referred to as the visible spectrum of light, and when all of the wavelengths of the visible spectrum of light are grouped together in just the right way, we get white light, which is sometimes referred to as daylight balanced light. But not all light sources produce the full spectrum of visible light. For example, light from tungsten light bulbs has a wavelength of around 600 nanometers, and when those 600 nanometer waves hit our eyeballs, we see the color orange. Because while our brains will automatically ignore the orange color of the light telling us that white is white and red is red and so on, our cameras can't do that, at least not without some help. What the white balance function on your camera does is tell the camera what the wavelength of the light is that you're shooting in. This allows the camera to correct the colors in your photos. With the correction, the photos you take will have whites that actually look white instead of orange, and all of the other colors in the photo will also be true. Every camera has a white balance option with a number of common presets available. Those presets typically are auto, sunny, cloudy, shade, tungsten, fluorescent, flash, and the one that we're interested in, which is custom. The custom white balance option allows you to get perfect white balance in any lighting situation, because as you might have noticed, the preset options are pretty limited. But to use custom white balance, you also need a gray card like this. A gray card has a particular shade of gray called 18% gray, which is perfectly neutral in color, and you can get one of these for around $10. This card is important because in order to use the custom white balance, the camera has to be able to see the wavelength of the light that you're shooting in without any color contamination. So what you do is you put the gray card in the scene that you're photographing, and then you take a picture of the card. When you take that picture, the card reflects the light into the camera, and because there is no color contamination from the card, the camera is able to measure the wavelength signature of that light and perfectly correct all of the colors in the photos that you take in that light. And it's that simple. That's all there is to it. Now, the exact process of doing this actually varies a little bit from camera to camera. So I've put together a guide that explains exactly how to set custom white balance for all of the camera manufacturers. But once you figure out how to do it for your camera, you'll see that it's a cinch, and anytime you need perfect colors, you'll know exactly how to get them. Now, because this is a custom white balance, an important thing to remember is that this doesn't switch back when you're done. So when when you are done shooting, you need to either set your white balance back to auto or make sure you set a custom balance every time you start shooting. If you don't do that, the next time you go out to shoot, I guarantee you the colors in your photos will be whack because the white balance will be all wrong for this new shooting situation. Now I've actually got another even easier way for you to get perfect white balance. See, using the card and going into the settings and selecting the custom white balance and then going through the process, it's not that that's hard, but most of the time I actually can't really be bothered to do it. So I'm going to share my technique with you, but this technique is dependent on you shooting your photos in RAW. If you shoot in JPEG, don't use this technique I'm about to share with you, because it won't work and you won't get the results that you're looking for. Raw photos by their nature have more data and more latitude when it comes to post-processing in software like Lightroom. And that is the key to this technique. And you're still gonna need the gray card for this, but if you're shooting in raw, it's not absolutely necessary to have accurate colors in camera with a custom white balance. So if you want a custom white balance, but you're a little bit lazy like I am, what you do is make sure that you're shooting in raw. And then what you do is pick one of the white balance presets on your camera. And it doesn't matter which setting it is, as long as it is not auto white balance or one of the custom setting. You choose one of the presets because that preset will give you a consistent white balance applied to every photo that you take in this particular light. Then, 
after the shoot, you're going to batch process and correct the white balance of all of the photos using Lightroom or whatever raw software you like to edit with. I always use the flash white balance setting because more often than not, I'm actually shooting with flash. But even when I'm not using flash, I just leave my white balance set to flash because I use this technique for white balancing all of my photos. So with your white balance set, what you do is you put the gray card in the scene in that light that you're shooting in and you take a photo of it just like I described before. But then you skip all the rest of it and instead you just get right to shooting. And if you're the sort of person that deletes photos on set, you need to make sure that you do not delete the photo you took of the card because you're going to need it later when you process the photos for white balance. Then when you get back to your computer, you fix everything up like this. So you set your white balance preset, shot the gray card, shot all of your photos under that same light and have them downloaded into your raw processor. I'm using Lightroom, but the process will be similar regardless of the raw processing software you use. You start with the gray card, and you go into your develop or adjustment area and you just do a custom white balance or a white balance correction by using your eyedropper tool or whatever tool you have in your processing software and you click on the screen and boom you can see it corrected the white balance of the gray card perfectly just like that go back to my grid, select all of my images that I shot under that light, and I'm going to use the synchronize settings options. And when I bring that up, I'm actually going to uncheck everything except for white balance and then click synchronize and you'll see all of the photos here are correcting. The white balance is perfect. So that's two ways you can use a $10 piece of cardboard to make sure that your photos have perfect colors. And even if you do use my lazy way of white balancing, you should definitely grab my free custom white balance guide so that you know how to custom white balance on scene with your camera. Because there will be times when you have to get custom white balance on the spot and you will want to know how to do this. So visit this link right here to get the guide. And if you have any questions about white balance or photography in general, let me know down in the comments. And then do me a favor, would you like this video and subscribe to my channel? If you really like this video, please share it with your friends. But the most important thing you need to do is get out there and take some damn photos, custom white balance or not. I'll see you guys tomorrow. The method will be similar regardless of the w <sighs> Thank you for watching. Now, I get loads of questions and they all boil down to one thing, which is how do I make my camera do what I want it to do? And here's the thing, your camera is like an instrument and you can't make music if you can't play your instrument. If you want to learn how to play your camera like the instrument it is, visit this link right here to check out my guide to shooting in manual mode video course.